Hi, I'm Caroline from Pasta Cosplay and welcome to my very first video tutorial. It's technically not my first tutorial ever, but the others kind of suck, so we will ignore them. Yeah. Today I want to show you how I built the head for my Arthur Morgan costume out of EVA foam. This one. If you want to see the head in action, you can check out our Red Dead Redemption 2 cosplay music videos over here. Or you can check out our Facebook and Instagram pages for more progress photos and story videos of our costumes. Wanna build your own head? I got you covered. I'm putting a link to the free download of the pattern down in the description below. So let's start crafting! I made my first version of Arthur Monk's head back in the beginning of 2019, so I already had a base pattern that I only had to update slightly. I traced it onto paper and I highly suggest you make yourself a paper mock-up as well. It took me quite some time to get the proportions right. I traced the pattern on 4mm and 5mm EVA foam and cut it out using a box cutter. Foam has a very smooth surface that doesn't look like leather at all. Luckily you can easily imitate leather texture on foam by heating it up and pressing different kind of materials onto it. In my case, wrinkled aluminium foil heated by a flat iron was perfect. To get an even more uneven leather-like structure, I rolled up little boards of aluminium foil, heated up the foam piece with a heat gun and pressed it into the material with quite some force. Next up, I started gluing my foam pieces together using contact cement. Make sure you cover both sides in a thin layer of glue and let it dry for 10 minutes before sticking them together. The crown part of Arthur's head has a little crease which I imitated by cutting a little bevel out of the material before gluing it back together. The second part of the crown was heated up and pressed into a round bowl. Just make sure you heat up the foam piece from the back side, as you might lose some of the leather structure if you heat that side directly. And that's what the head pieces should look so far. Now we get to sand them a little bit. I used my rotary tool to sand a few bevels into the edges of the crown pieces and glue them together like the pieces before. Don't worry if you will get ugly seams, they will be sanded down in the next step. So that already looks quite a lot like Arthur's head, right? To make the seams of the different pieces even less visible, I covered them with some quick seal. It's super easy to apply and you're able to smooth it out with wet fingertips. Since Arthur's head is old and worn, it definitely needs some better damage. I marked them up and sanded them in by using my rotary tool. Since the brim of a cowboy head isn't perfectly flat, I heat shaped it carefully around a round surface like this hairspray can. Next up, the foam head needed a primer. Luckily, the plastic dip I used for the job already had the perfect base color for that. To make the head look even more worn, it needed some weathering. I used acrylic and oil paints and applied them by using different techniques. Arthur's head also has a leather cord covering the headband part. For that, I bought an actual leather cord in the right color and size and used some leftover leather for the details. You could totally use EVA foam for that though, I just came across the perfect leather band. After I hot glued the leather parts in place, the entire head needed a last layer of clear matte spray varnish. Not only does it protect the foam, but it also makes the look and feel of the surface more believable. So I hope you enjoyed my first proper video tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, also let me know in the comments below. Alright, happy crafting! <laughs>